Recommended equipment for sampling. Welcome to this explanation about the equipment for sampling wood. All equipment is contained in a transport suitcase. We will start with the manual tools that will be used on boards. We have two tools, the Japanese saw and the hacksaw. The Japanese saw is simple and it is used for the cutting of small wood products and boards. It includes a spare blade. The hacksaw, which is handled in a similar way to the Japanese saw, is used for the cutting of small pieces of wood. The equipment includes a jack to fix the items we are going to cut. There are two power tools, a power saw and a power drill. Both work with the same batteries, so they can be interchanged. A charger is included. When introducing a battery, a red light will turn on and it will change to green when the charge is completed. The batteries have a button that indicates the charge level. A spare blade package is included for the power saw. The blade is simply fixed into the saw. For the collection of samples in large rolled wood, a 25mm diameter plug bit is used with the drill to obtain cylindrical parts about 5cm long. For ease of use of the drill, a grip is included, which can be attached to the left or right side. Once carried out the cutting, the cap is removed using a semicircular gorge. As an alternative to gorge, we can use screwdrivers. Two of different widths are included. The plug bit is sharp. A plastic container is included to store it. Gloves and safety glasses complete the equipment. When sending the items to the laboratory, the traceability of the consignment must be ensured. For this purpose, place the wooden stoppers in identified containers or bags, and then in sealable bags. All other parts may be placed directly into the self-sealing bags. Each bag and container must be correctly identified. And that's all. For more information, we are at your disposal in the ANEA Wood Anatomy Laboratory.